Exorcist, The Beginning is a 2004 supernatural horror film and a prequel to the 1973 movie, The Exorcist. It stars Stellan Skarsgård, Isabel Skorupko, and James D.R.C. It's directed by Rennie Harlan and a screenplay by Alexi Hawley. Now, basically, The Exorcist, The Beginning is a retooled version of an already completed movie called Dominion, prequel to The Exorcist, which Morgan Creek Productions kind of executive feared would be unsuccessful. So they rushed making this film instead in order to shelve that other one. This film was released in August of 2004, had a runtime of 114 minutes, grossed 50 million at the box office and had a grossed, um, Excuse me, it had a $50 million budget and grossed $78 million at the box office. Uh, Stella Skarsgård plays Father Marin, who you may know was played by Max von Sydow in the original film. This movie is interesting and not good at all. The aspect of the horror is there. Uh, you can tell that this movie was relied heavily on CGI. It kind of had that aspect of using CGI and demonic possession exorcism films, and it just didn't work. Sometimes, in some of those instances in those films, the actor or the actress is really contorting their body, and in this one, you could see that. Isabel Skropko, who you may know played in GoldenEye, is Sarah Novak, and it's just interesting. The aspect of the makeup was there, with the slashes and the look and the hue, but it just didn't work, it didn't feel right. Um, and Morgan Creek Productions, is, I feel like, is the first kind of movie studio to say, like, we think this movie is going to be unsuccessful. Let's make this one instead. I feel like the actors and the crew that were making this film really rushed it. It is the fourth entry in the Exorcist franchise, but it shouldn't have been. I mean, Exorcist, the beginning. Okay, how can you go back to the beginning? Let's talk about Father Merit. Great. Great character in cinema history. Fine. Stellan Skarsgård is great fine but it just didn't have that dynamic of being scary at all just didn't have the emotion didn't have the drive and the whole aspect of it taking place in the late 40s and how everything happened was really interesting and then you know kind of the aspect of what goes on with his kind of life after this i mean father Marin goes to this he does other things and then you know, helps Reagan McNeil. The history and the aspect of what it is is always great. I always love seeing kind of historical kind of moments in films that is either exaggerated or real or true for film standards or sometimes made up, but it's just fun. Other than that, this movie did not work. Um, when I saw it, I was like, hmm. I was left thinking there could have been done a little bit more and it just didn't feel like a supernatural horror film. Nothing is scary about it, nothing is crazy about it, nothing that leaves you with subliminal imagery. Nothing happens at all, except maybe the only thing that's good is Stellan Skarsgård acting in this as Father Marin. Other than that, it's not a good film at all. Exorcist The Beginning gets one out of five stars. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Exorcist The Beginning. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the story? Do you think this film should have been made? And um, what do you think should have happened after this film and uh, this franchise? Let me know in the comment section below what all the questions I just asked. I'll see you all in the next review video. And be sure you let me know what rating you would give Exorcist The Beginning. And click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video, and thank you for tuning in.